Hi, it's Megan. Um, I have started buying, obviously, holiday stuff, and this is from Le de Pew, the, oh gosh, now I'm going to forget what it's called, the Le Anne Follet, which is going to be pronounced wrong because I pronounce every single French thing wrong in every single video. And so, yes, feel free to comment and let me know how to pronounce it. I know I got it wrong. So I'm gonna quickly go through uh, the palette first and then I have one of the lip products and I will go through that one in a separate video. So first of all, I don't know if you've seen this collection but I, I just decided this year I'm gonna buy fewer holiday things because it's not like I need makeup but I'm gonna buy um, things that are a little bit more artistic, different, artsy, whatever, special. And so this has packaging designed by Ashley Longshore. This is the eyeshadow palette. Now, Ashley Longshore is an artist um, who is quite well known if you know that kind of this stuff. I am not putting pictures in the video because I don't think I'm allowed to without getting them pulled off YouTube. So if you want to look for her, it's Ashley Longshore. And there are tons of, of pictures online, but we can't use those in videos, I don't think. So they say that this is a limited edition collection of shadows in elegant shades from shimmering to matte inspired by the spell-binding, glittering beauty of a woman. An array of colors and textures to highlight and define eyes. And there are mattes in here, but I'm going to say right now, sometimes it was really hard for me to tell the difference between the satins and the mattes. And um, I had not used this brand before. I used the um, concealer, which they're super well known for, um, but I hadn't tried any of the makeup items. So I am a total newbie to this brand's makeup, but I will say first, um, these are really beautiful. Uh, these are really special, beautiful shades. And when I say I had a hard time figuring out the difference between the satins and mattes, it's because even the mattes kind of have this little glow, gleam thing going on, which is just so pretty. So you get this little bag, and then you get this beautiful little compact, which is just so pretty. You do pay $125 for it, but if you're not going to be buying a lot of makeup for Christmas, then it's not so bad. Um, I don't know, I just thought these were so special and I kind of needed a special treat, so I did it. So you get the mirror, which I still have the plastic thing over it just because it doesn't work in videos, so it's better to keep the plastic on. And then little brushes, there are four little brushes and they're fine. It's nice, I guess, that there are four. Um, and there are all kinds of varieties, so it's nice that there are four, but um, I have obviously not been using them. So those are the eyeshadows. And I have on my eyes, I have this shade right here, this gray, I have this peach, and then I have this gold. So the gold, the peach, the gray, and I didn't, I don't know, I feel like I should have blended it more even when I was doing it. I felt like I should have blended it, but um, I didn't because I wanted you to see the color because I think it's so pretty. And if I blend it out too much, you won't see it as much. So anyway, these are, I don't know, they're not a must have every day. But if you want something where every shade is just like, wow, um, and stunning. And I tried to figure out why, and it really does come down to just the quality. They're very finely milled. Uh, the colors, it's really, I, like, I wrote down a description of the colors, but I feel like the descriptions don't fully describe the colors because they are so complex and so unusual and so beautiful and so... I don't want to use pigmented, that's an overused word, and it doesn't really mean that much when I, you look at shadows like this. These are just so gorgeous. Um, but I could not fully tell them that's from the satin, so you'll hear that. Okay, so the first shade is a plum, and I always, as always, have already put my outdoor swatches at the beginning of the video. And so this, I said, it is warm and kind of a medium soft plum. And so you can see it's almost got a brownish tint to it. This is one of those plums that uh, is super flattering on everyone. It's just going to be really beautiful and it definitely has that little purple thing going on there. So it's more subtle, muted than maybe some other brighter purple kind of shades, but it's going to work really well. This I almost did this, but then I decided to go for the gray. The next one is a pink, and this is not going to show up on my pink skin all that well. Well, my not so pink skin. Um, and I don't have to use an eyeshadow primer with these, by the way. They're super, gosh. These are one swipes. They're super pigmented. So you can see this one's got a slight sheen. So the first one I think was a matte. This one I think is a satin. Um, and this I said it was a carnation with a touch of warmth, which is kind of nice because it makes it more wearable for most people. I was actually wearing this one and that yesterday. Very, very pretty combination, especially if you've got kind of a pink lip thing going on. The next shade I love, like sometimes the most basic shades can be just the most beautiful. 
So this, ooh, it has this beautiful sheen to it. This is a gold, and it is kind of slightly yellowish. What did I say? I said slightly shimmery, touch of peach, yellowish gold. That makes sense. It's really special shade. And this I have right up here. Then I also have the gray on, and this is kind of, I'm going to do double because I want you to see it darker. It doesn't need to go to double, um, but just I want it really built up because I want you to see the shade. I call this a shirt kind of a color. It's got like a periwinkle blue undertone to a gray, and this one's got a slight shimmer to it, just as the gold does. They don't get metallic. They just have kind of a slight, slight shimmer, and I think that the gray, yeah, it has just tiny, 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 barely noticeable, but only in sunlight micro glitters. I can't see it inside. Um, okay, the next one. This one, this may be a matte or a satin. Uh, those glow mattes. This shade, my wrist is still wet, so there's a problem with the swatch, but it's not the, it's not the shadow. It's the fact that my wrist was a little wet, and so it's uneven. Um, you can see it's just this beautiful, rich green, blue, aqua kind of color, a touch more green. Um, I, I said it's a rich satin. It may be a matte, though. <sighs> and then the next one is also just a stunning shade. So this is a, I said soft strawberry pink, see, uh, sheen, and uh, a soft shimmer. So this one I had a hard time describing. Like, how can you have a hard time describing a pink like this? I couldn't tell if it's a white undertone. It's a beautiful highlight shade, too. Um, it's a very lovely, soft pink, very natural-looking pink. The peach, which is already wearing, I'm already wearing an indentation in this one, because this, I guess, is my favorite. I mean, it's just for every day. It's just, I said a soft satin with a touch of shimmer peach. And again, you can see, like, I'm saying peach, pink, and normally I'm a lot more descriptive, but there's just so much going on with these. This one has, like, a maybe touch of, of salmon in it. They're very, uh, this, um, is a white. And I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. This is kind of like what I would call an angel ethereal, kind of a glow white. It's really gorgeous. White's a hard color to do. It maybe has like a kiss of, of silver in it, a kiss of micro glitter. It's just a really special shade. And this one also works really well. The gold works really well in the inner corner of the pink, the lighter pink, and then this one right well. And so you can see my eyes. I just, I don't know, it's like such a simple set of colors. And they don't look the most practical, but when you actually start playing with them, Every one of them is just knock out of the ballpark gorgeous, which I don't know. I guess I'd rather have a knock out of the ballpark gorgeous eyeshadow palette. And I'm wearing one of the pink, one of the lips on my lip right now from one of the lip palettes, which I will now go and shoot a video for. So, we're not go, stay and shoot a video for. So, if you have any of these collections, if you have some of these items from this brand that you really love, since I am new to it, I would love to hear. Um, thoughts, suggestions. I guess the brushes are only available in Europe, so if you have information about that, I would love to hear it. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe on YouTube.